Hello everybody, nice to see you again. Welcome back to the channel. I thought I'd give you a bit of an update because we've not spoken in a while. So, so if you have been joining me in any of my live streams or heard my ramblings over the past few weeks, you'll know that I'm in the middle of moving house. Still not got, actually got a date to move house, but I'm doing house move prep. And for any of you Icarists out there, that's usually a bit of a headache. And what we're going to do with the bleeding fish tanks? So, I've started my prep by trying to break down as many fish tanks as I can kind of downsize my fish room, downsize my fish hoarding abilities. <laughs> um, but I'll just talk you through where we've got to so far. So we're in the living room at the moment. This is my main discus display tank. We're not touching this one just now. So let's have a quick look anyway. It's full of discus, which the lights just come on so they're all starting to cower away in the corner. But you'll see there's other things in here as well. So there's cardinal tetras, there's rainbow fish, there's thereby corridoras, there's bristle nose plecos. There's all manner of things in here all hiding away. So what we will be doing to this one is just leaving the discus and maybe getting all these fish out and moving them down into the fish room. So that's what we're going to do with the display tank and then not worry about the headache of that big massive tank fitting down the stairs because there's my stupid cat. As much. No, nope, maybe he's dead. We're on the first floor, so we've got to get that big tank down there. Uh, and that's where the fish room is down there as well, so we'll take you there in a minute. But the other thing to look at, or the rest of the tanks that I've got upstairs, are these ones. So these are the angel fish. This is going to be today's job. So this is my office. You'll have seen this before. That's where I do my live streams on a Friday. Come join us at nine o'clock. Got the angel fish in my office. I'm going to break down that tank today. I'm going to get these guys back down into the fish room. Consolidate all the fishy stuff all in one place. I've got some other tanks here. These are already broken down. So this was my better tank. He unfortunately died a few weeks back. He was a ripe old age, so not too upset about that. White clouds, mountain minnows, they've all gone. This is now just housing plants from various tanks. Celestial pearl Daniel tank, gone. Just all the plants in there. So I'm going to get this tank broken down. That tank's in the process of being broken down. This tank's just going to hold some plants for now until I figure out what to do. And of course, it's nothing to do with fish, but look at that for a tomato plant. That's what feeding your plants on old fish water does. It's the first time I've ever actually got a fruit. So I'm well excited about that. And my chilli plant down here. That's the first wee nubbin of a chilli. Anyway, fish, fish, that's what we're on about. A lot of the fish I've actually just got rid of. I've sold them on, I've given them away to people. But I want to keep these. Although these were sold to me as autumn angels, which they certainly are not, they're still quite pretty. So I'm hoping that I can get a bit of a breeding project going with these guys in the new place. But for now, let's just get them into a new tank. So, I'm not going to do anything fancy. Got a bucket, got a hose, got a net. Going to drain some of the water out of this tank, get it into the bucket, net out all the fish and take them downstairs. And like I say, the only reason I'm doing this is to make it a bit easier when it comes to the actual move. So if I can break all these tanks down now, um, I've rented a storage unit so I can put all the tanks into the storage unit then I only have to worry about the condensed space of the fish room. Just move the tanks that are in the fish room and hopefully make it a little bit easier for myself. So let's get these guys in here. Um, water parameters, not an issue because I'm moving them to the same water. It's the same house, they're just going downstairs. Hopefully everything will go tickety-boo. So let's get on with it. Siphon out a bit of water while we're talking, if you fancy one of these t-shirts that I'm sporting, or aquarium towels for the inevitable water spills, check out the website aquariumadventures.co.uk you can get yourself one, and if not, join us on a Friday night for the live stream, you might even win one. So, the lovely fish, the lovely colourings I don't know how well that's coming across on camera, but I'm really quite fond of these guys. Really need a bigger net. One moment. Right, 
I'm going to put these guys in this tank. It's empty apart from a couple of bristlenose plecos and a few snails, but that's fine. Um, I haven't managed to catch all the fish, but I thought I'd spare you the tedium of me ripping out all the rocks and wood and stuff from the other tank, but we'll do that after the fact. But we'll get the ones that we've got in here. They can get settled while I fish out the rest of them. So I'm not going to do any particularly owner's acclimation. I'm just going to get them in. I've made sure the temperature is roughly the same. This isn't an ideal size tank for these guys long term, but hopefully it's only for a month or so. And they should cope with that perfectly well. The tank is on an auto water change system, so good clean fresh water constantly. One more for now. It's always the last one that's the sneakiest. So one, two, three, four, five, six, just six. I've got another two upstairs, I think, hiding away in the rocks, but that'll do for now. I'll show you the rest of the depleted fish room in a minute, but we'll just take a look at these guys as they start to settle in. I mean, they are quite plain angels, I think. Silvers, platinum, zebras, so many people call them so many different things. I don't think they're truly any of them, but I really like the silver color along with the red that they're starting to develop at the top or their kind of rusty colour even absolutely fantastic so really active fish, that's why I liked having them up in my office because they would follow your finger around while you were playing with them um, and that's why I want to keep them and hopefully breed them but for now this is their temporary home so as a bit of a mini fish room tour, we've got this tank here. It's just got the angels we've just moved down here. They feed on a mix of my bug flake and the krill flake, my special sauce of mixed up leftovers. And they do really well in it. I also get a bit of frozen food and a bit of my soft artemia food which is on offer at the moment if you want to buy some of that and you're watching this reasonably close after the videos come out if you use the code soft art you'll get 10% off uh, and double quick plug if you consider joining if you join as a hero member down there you also get 10% off anything on the website so if you wanted to get the artemia for instance you'd get 10% off with the code soft art but you'd also get another 10% off for being a hero member just Click the links in the description, join us on Discord, let us know, and we'll tell you all about it. Back to the tour. So that tank, we've got the angels. This tank was the temporary home for my celestial pearl Daniels, but they've gone now to a, a new home. So nothing in there but some snails. And here we've got the tiger endler. Well, it's kind of overflow tank if you like. But what I've noticed is that some of the fish in here don't look like tiger endlers, for instance, if you can focus on some of them. Some of them look a, a bit more like the blonde blush or the wild guppies. So I'm not sure if they're just not breeding true or we've had a bit of a escape and interlopers have got in there. Which will ruin everything. Still, very pretty nonetheless. Down below we've got Humphrey in his tank which I've just been cleaning, hence all the stuff there. He's been a bit of a knob and he's bust another heater. So then there's the heater graveyard. Humphrey does not like cylindrical things and keeps smashing them until they die. Uh, he's still my favourite fish though. I absolutely love him. Need to get some titanium heaters. I keep saying that and then never actually doing it but I shall need to get some for him. Over here we've got my muck guppy tank and I don't know what to say 
I'm absolutely amazed at the state of some of these absolutely fantastic colours. Look at that white one, for instance. That couldn't be more white. The platinum, platinumist of the platinumist. But all of these, the colours in these guys are ridiculous. So I absolutely love that tank. Over here we've got, and my cobbled together, held together with hope and super glue. These are the wild guppies. And here we've got the Endler guppies, the Blue Star Endlers, and my kind of bristle nose colony breeding thing. Look at that coconut there. That's what happens if you leave a coconut in with some bristle nose plecos long enough, you'll chew right through it. Uh, but lots going on here. I have been blessed as well that I've got lots of lots of sales recently, so I've moved a lot of these guys on. Which is kind of the idea, that's what I'm trying to do. So more blue stars here, more tiger endlers here. We've got the shtick endlers here that are all hiding because I've just done a water change in there. But lots of little babies of them. And then I don't think there's any left in there, the blonde blush. We've got one of my, in fact my only better fish now, up here. And these are more of the muck guppies. I've actually emptied all these tanks into the muck guppy tank. But there's just some fry that were left over in each of them that are now growing up, so I'm just leaving them there while I've still got time. But I'm going to break all these down, put them all into the muck guppies, put all these tanks into storage. Endless I'm going to keep going. Bristle noses I'm going to keep going. Humphrey, muck guppies, angels. This tank I'm going to use for things like the neon, te the cardinal tetras and all that kind of stuff from the main display tank. And then we should have everything but the discus down in the fish room. So I know that was a bit of a mishmash in terms of a tour. It's very sparse down here. There's a lot going on at the moment. I'm trying to keep everything moving, keep things interesting. It's hard. I don't want to buy more fish, but I, I really do want to buy more fish, but I don't want to buy more fish right now because I might be about to move. But when we get to the new place with a much bigger fish room, hopefully I will have much more interesting things to show you then. But in the meantime, Join me on a Friday night, UK time, around 9 o'clock. We usually have a bit of a chin wag. People get together, we usually do giveaways, maybe win a, win a t-shirt. If not, go and buy one anyway. But other than that, thanks for stopping by, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.